Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So we made a video this morning about Mookie Betts and how he really took over game one. Well, Cody Bellinger, he got things started with a two-run homer in the bottom of the fourth. I want to go back real quick though. I'm sure you saw it by now. Game seven, Braves Dodgers. Tie score, 3-3, three, three, bottom of the seventh, two outs. He goes deep and takes them to the World Series. Now, as he crosses home, Gives a forearm shiver right here. And now he tries it again a little bit harder with Kike. And bang, his shoulder dislocates. You can see his arm hanging right there. I give him a lot of props. He's still pumped up. You can see when he pops it out the first time. And now he goes here and he goes, okay, I'm not going uh, to, I'm going I'm to go the spin move here. <laughs> Save my right shoulder. And then you can see right here, his arm is completely straight. Can't really tell. He does a really good job of pulling it off here and not letting anyone know that he just popped his shoulder out of place. But you can see his right arm kind of hanging down there. Doesn't touch anyone here. Gets a nice slap in the butt right there by Muncie. And now he goes down underneath and ends up getting his shoulder popped back into place. And there was some speculation that that may cause some issues heading into the World Series. Now he started and he said he was fine. He actually went back in the game. They had to pop it back in. He said it was painful, but he's been able to play. And obviously, in last night's game, he comes up in the fourth inning, tie score 0 0, and he hits an absolute bomb again to right field to put the Dodgers on the board and ahead 2 0. Now, this time when he comes around, he changes things up. He goes with the foot. Don't dislocate your hip, though. Light foot taps. Good move by Ballinger. Luckily, he's okay because he is obviously a huge part of the Dodgers offense. And uh, you need a shoulder to hit. You need a shoulder to be able to do this. So looking forward to seeing how he continues to contribute going forward. Again, luckily, he's, he's all right. He's had, interestingly, shoulder issues in the past. He's popped out his other shoulder multiple times. Never this one before. But doesn't look like it had any effect on him. Anyways, that's all we got. See you guys for game two.